Hi everyone, welcome back to Sun Sarts. If you're new, welcome to the family. Today's DIYs are all buffalo checkered sunflower fall DIYs. So let's move on to the buffalo plate wall hanging that I used. For that, I'm going to stick three of the uh, you know, fall decorative pieces. So for that, I'm taking one of this wooden uh, pumpkin and I'm painting this with the white chalk paint and after it is dried i'm going to decoupage this with one of this uh, sunflower printed napkin that i got from dollar tree long back and using mod podge i just uh, you know brush the mod podge on top of the painter's surface and i stuck this napkin and after it's dried i just just like sunflower print with a green bow and a tiny sunflower in the center to finish the look of that and i call it done and i'm also going to stick one of the sunflower on uh, top of this hanging part and i'm going to hang it on the wall and show how it looks and this is one of the beautiful sunflower buffalo plate fall decor and i'm so happy how this uh, pumpkin with the sunflower print uh, turned out and also one of those uh, acorn with those window cling stickers and with the happy fall leaf for decor in the center completes the whole beautiful look and this is one of the beautiful wall hanging and you have to let me know what your thoughts are This video would be part of a napkin challenge and this is hosted by Sarah from Sunflowers and DIY and I'm going to leave the crafting channel of this great lady in my description box as well as the link to the playlist. So please watch all of our videos and give a lots of love. DIY number two. For this DIY, I'm on, I have this uh, plate from Dollar Tree which has blessed letters already written in there. I wanted to add the sunflower to it. So I'm using uh, the pieces of the sunflower from the calendar that I used for previous project. And I just cut those pieces, uh, small pieces from there and the leaves. And I carefully, you know, I'm just uh, sticking that in the base of the blessed lettering using you know a bit of a mud patch and i'm also attaching some of the leaves everywhere and i got uh, one more uh, coat of uh, mud patch on top of it to just give like nice sealant and also it gives like a nice matte look that i'm actually looking for now i'm going to create a nice bow for this so i took some of the sunflower ribbons that i have all from dollar tree of course and one is the black background with yellow sunflowers and one is the white with yellow sunflowers on it and i just got a couple of pieces of them and i also have this green burlap ribbon i created a small bow there and i stuck the first green bow on uh, top of the plate using dab of a hot glue and i stuck two pieces of this black ribbon and also the white ribbon with sunflowers on it and i also have this burlap ribbon with the polka dotted uh, uh, black polka dots on it and I stuck that on top of it and this layering of this bows looks so gorgeous and I'm also attaching one tiny sunflower with a tiny greenery and I think this is done and this looks so stunning I'm just so happy how this pieces of sunflower and the leaves and I actually cut those tiny leaves from the calendar and I carefully stuck all around the plate and this turned out so gorgeous I'm very happy about this guys and this is one of my favorites today so you have to let me know your thoughts as well On to DIY number three. For this DIY, I'm going to use one of this buffalo plate signed from Dollar Tree and I use this for Christmas, so I'm going to repurpose it again. So for the center part, I'm going to paint uh, with white chalk paint and I'm going to do like a couple of coats uh, to get like nice coverage. After it is dried, I'm also going to use this napkin which has got like beautiful pumpkin harvest with sunflower design on it so i just carefully cut the design 
and I just took one ply out of all the plies and I'm carefully you know, going to apply that on top of this painted surface so I just took Mod Podge and I just smeared the Mod Podge with a paintbrush and I'm carefully sticking this design on top of it so no air bubbles are there and the design looks like neat and clean now i'm going to take this uh, berry garland which has like brown and orange berries using tiny bit of hot glue i'm just attaching this berry garland around the painted surface just like so isn't this pretty already now it needs a sunflower in the center of the bow the bow is already there so i'm also going to attach one more uh, ribbon which has sunflower print on it and this is how it looks after all the decoration is done i'm so happy how this turned out this looks like as though i painted you know the pumpkins in the center so yeah this is one of it and i'm very happy about this so you have to let me know your thoughts as well if you'd like to connect with me on social media these are some of the handles that you can use on to diy number four for this diy i have taken two tin containers and i spray painted with white paint and i let it dry after it's dried i'm going to decoupage with this beautiful sunflower printed napkin so i'm just taking where the print is and i took a single ply from out of all the plies and i also took like generous amount of mod podge and using the paint you know soft sponge brush i'm just giving one coat of this mod podge on it and i'm applying this beautiful napkin on the top of this uh, painter surface and i'm also gently pressing with my fingers against the container so it releases any air bubbles and also it conforms to the design of this tin container i want to show those beautiful ridges so after i stuck all around it i just took one more coat of mod podge all around and i took this cork and this cool glue and spackling i made like a good mixture of it i'm going to stuff some plastic bags to get some depth to it and i'm going to fill this mixture on top of it before that i want to decorate the borders with this beautiful burlap ribbon and I'm just taking two pieces of it and using a generous amount of hot glue I'm sticking to the top of this uh, container and also to the base and uh, this is how they look after they are stuck and off screen I stuffed that mixture and I let it dry I think it just took like uh, 24 hours to set and this gives like a nice candle holder using some of the tin items that you can you know find around the house and uh, i'm going to show how you can decorate it i am planning to put two candles you can either put like a real candle or also maybe um, you know electric votive candle so i'm going to ignite this candle using the lighter in a second and see how beautiful this candle holder turned out and i also created one with this uh, fall leaves and you can also decorate this with uh, electric candle hotel just like that or you can put succulents so options are endless so this is one of the cute sunflower napkin printed candle holder decor i want to share with you all today and this is something trash to treasure and i'm very happy about the end result i hope you would like it too please let me know your thoughts i hope you enjoyed watching and working along with me like i always say thank you so much for watching today and i'll see you again